Welcome to Making the Spiritual Practical with Veronica Drake, the channel where we help you live your spirituality with grace and clarity. I am Veronica of veronicadrake.com and this is your weekly message from your angels. Now, I want to remind you, one size does not fit all. What does that mean? Maybe there's nothing in this message for you, or maybe there's hidden messages in this message for you. So I'm going to suggest that you listen to this several times, that you take notes, and one of the times that you're listening to it, do it passively. Maybe you're washing the dishes, or maybe you're walking the dog, or you're doing something other than listening to this message because your brain hears things differently when you're in different stages of listening. So if you find this helpful, please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these weekly messages from the angels. So here is the very first piece of information. Now, you may have to play detective with this, so let's get going. What you are currently struggling with, what is appearing to be an obstacle in your life, whether it's a person, a situation, maybe it's just a thought. It's stopping you from getting to the next level, to the next place that you want to be. Maybe you're waiting for that promotion. Maybe you're waiting for that person to come into your life who's just going to compliment your soul. Here's why you're blocked, and this is where the work comes in. Your angels are pointing behind you. Now, normally, we're not going to tell you your answers are behind you because we want you to move forward and we want you to focus on the present. But what they're meaning is your answers as to why you're blocked resides in one of your past lives. It is most prominent in this life, the lessons that have come from that situation in which you found yourself struggling with the same situation you have right now. So here's what the angels are suggesting. Find yourself a place where you can be completely alone in nature and take yourself outside of yourself and this is going to transport you back to the life that you most need to understand to help you through this process in this current life and here's what they're suggesting you're out in nature and what you're going to do is look up now when you look up you're going to see formations you're going to see the clouds and off of that you're going to release any anxiety, any stress, any heaviness about yourself, the day, and the current situation. The clouds are the angels communicating to you. And so release any preconceived ideas that you might have about what you're looking at and open yourself up to the guidance that the angels are providing through the clouds. Now the clouds may present imagery, they may trigger a phrase, and all of this is to take you on a journey back to a previous life. So now, once you're in tune with the clouds, the angels, you can begin to ask questions such as, show me my previous life that's most relevant to this current situation I am experiencing. So it's a two-step process. You're outside, you're looking at the clouds, you're connecting with the angels, and then you're asking for them to take you back to the life that can most help you with the current situation you're experiencing. So you wanna go into this process knowing what it is that you're struggling with or having an idea of it. And this is how you're going to find your answer. 
So the past life that they're going to lead you to, you're going to begin to see a story and it's going to unfold and it's going to reveal step by step by step what you did to resolve it in that life. And then you want to bring it forward and put those steps into practice in this life. Now, this was a difficult download for me to get this morning because I kept resisting that the angels would guide us anywhere. And so I had to work through my own stuff with this. And the reality is when I sat down and I did this process, because I do what I teach you how to do, it cleared everything up for me almost instantaneously. So if you're willing to put yourself out there and you're willing to do the work, and maybe you'll have to do this process three or four or five times before you get finished with it, you will find resolve. Because what's happening is in your mind up here, you're trying to find solutions and you're going loop-de-loop-de-loop-de-loop. -de -loop -de -loop -de -loop. And then you're relying on your conditioned beliefs. And so the angels want you to come out of your literal mind, transport yourself back to your subcon to out of your subconscious mind into a conscious mind of another life. So that's exactly what you're doing. So again, if this was helpful, please like my page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share me with your friends, leave your comments. And I can tell you these readings are getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And so I know that I'm growing from them and I certainly hope you are. Take care. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share us with your friends. Let's make the spiritual practical.